Hi guys and welcome back to the Dynamics. Today we have a very special car for you, it's the Quadro VTEC. Now this is out of the Cyberpunk 2077 game, uh, I'm sure you've all heard of that. So that's a different game from this but that car they decided to place in this game but to unlock that car you have to do a series of street races. I think it's called uh, Night City or something. But yeah guys, let's get right into it. So first of all you can see the car does look very very let's say 80s, 70s, 60s, 50s, 1800s, whatever you want to call it. But it's actually not. Um, inside the game it actually says it's from 2058, even though it's 2021. But yeah. So this is actually interesting because it's a 4.4 litre V10 and it gives out about 607 horsepower. Obviously now you're looking at a 4.4 litre, you want a V8 or something, but for a V10 it still sounds amazing though and it definitely is fast. Um, you can see it's raining but we can't really do anything about it. Let's look inside because this is where it gets interesting people. Just make sure that's recording. Check out that. Wow. See the square steering wheel. Absolutely mad. But yeah, let's just um, let's get going. So I have a feeling it's going to get dark in a minute. I literally just won the won this car today in the race, and I thought I'll quickly just jump on it and do a video of it because you know what, it's such an amazing car. It's so big as well and wide. Like my first impressions was wow, that's wide. And remember, it's a V10, but honestly, it sounds like a V6, a V8, a V10. Like literally, it just sounds even like a V12. But like it doesn't sound like a V10. There's a bit, but not that much. So we are in manual with the floppy paddles. I don't know if this has got um, a manual gearbox inside, but it's fast and it's from 2058, so it should be, it shouldn't even have a driver. It should be driverless. And better still, it shouldn't be, I shouldn't have an engine, but you know what? If, it did, if cars did have an engine, then you know, you'd be loving that. But yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't look that way. But yeah, it drives. It drives quite smoothly. To win this car, I was actually in the Bugatti Chiron, and um, I managed to do it. This was literally my, my first go on the second race. There was only two races that I remember off. Maybe there was races before because that has been there for quite some time since last year. But I've only done it now, and I thought, you know what? Let's just go get it. But yeah, that's enough of me waffling on this. Let's give it some. So we are in Edinburgh at the moment. The reason why I chose this location is not only because it's nice, but it's because where that's where the actual race for this car was in the city of Edinburgh and you can hear it echoing because obviously in Edinburgh it does echo and now it is really responsive but you can see it's not that much of a high river so you want it to scream like a let's say a V10 from an R8 or something but it's not doing that but it, not nevertheless it sounds amazing I think this weighs like somewhat like 1500 pounds or something, which is literally like what? I don't know, but it's very, very light and you can feel it around corners, around bends. It's just gripping as well. I should have done a tunnel though. It's no, it doesn't have that much torque, like say now I'll, I'll downshift. Very, it's very linear the power and it's not as fast as the Bugatti Chiron but it handles so much better. It's interesting on the downshifts because it seems to be not as responsive but when we go inside we can see if it's shifting or if it's using pad puddles. 
sound like a V10 now. Before it didn't for some reason, but maybe it's because I was so excited. To be honest, the first time I got this car, I didn't actually know what engine was in it. I got told it was a V10, but it didn't seem like it first. Now, I have, do have to say, uh, 7000 RPM, red line in a V10 is not that high at all. I know I've mentioned it before, but come on, we'd expect a little... I wonder if you can modify this car. I haven't checked, but if you can, then there's definitely a way of uh, raising that red line. I did that to the Golf R as well. Now, when I upload this video, I'm gonna. I've already done a few other videos. I've done a. What have I done? I've done uh, the TTS. The. What else have I done? TTS. The M4 GTS, that's it. And that's it, yeah, that's it. The reason why I'm uploading this is because I just want to get it out there because you know what? It's a big deal to get this car. Now what coincidence is dark, however it was from a Night City race so I did win it in the night so it's good to have it in the night. Maybe it turns into, I don't know, a V12 or something at night. Maybe the red line limit raises at night. That's still there. Flames. This is actually an iconic car though, it's, it's so smooth and it's literally just planted. No matter what speed you're doing, it's, it's, it's not going anywhere. You can still see inside the car when you have it on this view, you can see a bit of the dash. Sorry, I distracted. You just want it to start screaming, but it's not. But I do wonder why he's not shifting the gears when you're in the interior view. Maybe he's. Maybe they couldn't be bothered doing it or they didn't have time, who knows. <laughs> Can you hear that lovely whine? Where are we now? Ashbrook. You know what, I still don't know this map fully. Here we have a bit of light. 
Let's do some revs of the crowd. Also there we did a usual test that we do where we test out the first gear if you've noticed if you're a subscriber you'll notice I always test out the first gear uh, we'll do it again uh, just to see how long it is so it is seven seven gears and it goes up to 34 miles an hour in first gear now obviously the gear ratios can be changed further down the line but we're not gonna do that for the time being Good thing or a bad thing that it's night time. Instead of trying to fight off, I always opt for the break, which which is not how you do it. You can't get bored of that sound on this sound amazing. And I did not see that, I was looking there. <laughs> oh it's raining as well, and traction is off. As I always say in my videos, I always have traction off. Wow. That light at the back, it looks like a cross between Let's say Audi and um, a Pontiac. <laughs> Thinking of a uh, night rider now. Some houses here. We jumped in one of these. Oh, sunlight's coming up now. That was a lovely night drive with the Cyberpunk Quadro VTEC. Yeah, it's called VTEC, but it's not VTEC, but it's no Honda. I'd laugh now if someone comments saying it's made by Honda. But you know what? It is still amazing car, even if it was. I'm trying to find, like... to do a donut. Not really do it here. Yeah we can. <laughs> Generally speaking around Ben it is planted, but I think the only reason for that is because it's not that fast, obviously compared to a Chiron, that's literally everywhere. Like I've mentioned before, all all wheel drive cars are really bad. Any houses 
is here. Horizon Festival is up there. Is it just a normal... Oh, there's a house there. How do we get there? We go from here. Let's just go. I guess it's stupid. I don't know whose house is here, but we'll see whose house is here. Oh, it's just a beauty spot. It's not even a house. All this for no reason. Now we're on the field, if you want to see. I'll tell you, just in case you can what's happening. So many fields. What a beautiful place to take the Quadro VTEC. I can't wait to mod this and see what we can do because honestly, I really hope we can rip up, uh, up the rev line limiter. Red line limiter, I said rev line, the red line limiter. Because other cars get raised. I've also bought a Golfara as well, um, 2015 one, uh, Mark 7 one, because um, I wanted to get it to see what we did and I managed to do some work to it so far and we managed to raise a red line limit there. That's why I'm so confident that this one will, but I hope it does. So yeah guys, uh, that was just a quick video of the Quadro VTEC. I always keep uh, forgetting the name because there's loads of numbers, so we've got, what, Cyberpunk 2077, 20, 27, 27, 2077, I'll just say 2077, 2077, yeah, we've got that, and then we've got 2058, so 2058, so there's loads of numbers, but yeah, let's just clarify, it's a Cyberpunk 277 car, I said that right, didn't I? and it's a Quadro VTEC, and it's in it's a 2058 model, so yeah. Let's just take a look around it. It does look really, 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 really good, and I'm glad that we got some night shots because I don't tend to do night videos, and obviously you can't really see that much stuff. But then it was a night car, so nice, 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 nice revs. But yeah, guys. Thanks again for watching, don't forget to like this video, comment if you want to, share it if you want to, and subscribe if you want to, please subscribe. Uh, yeah guys, stay at home, stay safe, and peace.